hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is china if you are new and if you're not thank you so much for coming back so um i wanted to do a unboxing i wanted to do a unboxing and this is a very special important unboxing because it's my little sisters um and i'm very grateful for her and i'm very happy for her because she started her own um hair and lashes and i just want my little sister to strive and i'm very proud of her so i wanted to do the unboxing sorry that the box is kind of like messed up the babies junior was stepping all on it as soon as i opened it up i'm like really so it says thank you for your order it's a card she knows pink is my favorite color. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, it says uh, raw hair, mink eyelashes. She is me collection, lashes and extensions. And it says contact us. She is me collection .com, at gmail.com. Um, and this is her card, so please make sure you guys take a screenshot, and it also will be linked down below. I'm very proud of my little sister. This is my blood sister. We have the same fathers, so I'm super excited about her. And make sure you guys let her. Make sure you guys let her know that I sent you. And this is the hair. So it feels. Look at that. I want it straight because honestly, I have been into straight so much. As y'all can see, this is straight uh, a wig. And I wanted to get a sew-in done. I wanted to get a sew-in done. So she sent me some hair and it's three bundles. And it just feels so good. And it smells good too. And I'm just so proud of her. Like what? my little sister is an entrepreneur she is not playing so i'm so happy i can't wait to finally get a sew-in done because i have not had a sew-in y'all know that in about a year if it's been that long i don't think it's been that long but um i'm super excited like look at that so make sure you guys check her information out it will be linked down below um i believe that these are um uh, what inch is it? I don't even remember what inch I ordered. I just told her what I wanted and she literally shipped it out. And it was a great price. Um, I believe these are 16 inches. Um, 16 and 18 inches because, you know, I don't want nothing too long. But, matter of fact, it's two different lengths. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> But everything will be linked down below. You guys, please check out my little sister and let her know that I sent you. Uh, I can't wait to get my hair done, sissy. Alrighty, so let's just jump right back into this vlog. Hey, you guys. So, um, me and June. June June back there. Um, I know y'all tired of seeing like the steering wheel right here, but, um, <laughs> there's no way because my screen is right there. So there's no way for me to like put my camera <clears throat> and if I put it in front of my screen, it will fall. Um, so we are on our way to Cumberland Mall. Um, hmm. I, wanna, I have my new green purse that you guys saw in my last vlog. Today is actually Wednesday. It's 12. <clears throat> it's 12.30. And I did not post up a vlog today. Um, well, so far. I'm thinking about, like, posting it up later on today. Because I just have not been feeling it, to be honest, y'all. Like, I have not been feeling vlogging. I look extremely dark. Um, I have not been feeling like vlogging. And just haven't been in the mood. Um, I just was feeling really overwhelmed um you know we all get like that we have our good and bad days i've been feeling really overwhelmed um <clears throat> i've been looking up to get like a nanny yeah so i've been looking up to get like a nanny 
I would have my baby back there. I love him so much. <laughs> but um, I've been looking up to get like a nanny because I don't know, like I just feel like, of course my mother helps me. Y'all always see that my mother helps me. I haven't really been putting my family on my blog and stuff like that, but my mother helps me out so much. I appreciate her so much. But um, <clears throat> I just been looking for like a nanny. Let me just put it like that, period. Um, so, um, I'm in a little traffic. Um, yeah, because I just, just for one to two days out of the week, um, and probably not every week, probably every other week, because y'all know we really don't have any family up here, period, other than my mom. And then my brother just got here. He actually just arrived to my house, but I have to make a run. But, um, <clears throat> I don't have any family here my cousin my one cousin that you guys see all the time well used to be seen all the time deandre he just had a baby and um i barely see him but um and also y'all didn't even know that i took my kids the day when i was vlogging i was headed to the gym i don't even think i put that footage in this vlog to be honest so but anyway i took i ended up i was going to the gym i was headed to the gym because i just was feeling so overwhelmed everything was going bad in my day you know how you have like a really bad day to where everything just seemed like it's going wrong instead of right i had one of those days the other day and that's why i haven't been vlogging that's why it has not been a wednesday vlog and a saturday which is today vlog because i just have been feeling overwhelmed like i hate feeling like this um <clears throat> so um <clears throat> yeah what was i saying um that's why you guys haven't saw the vlog but um i probably will end up getting this vlog up this saturday vlog i should have brought my laptop with me so i could have sat down and ate and edit and then went back home but um <laughs> yeah i just was having like a really bad day i was overwhelmed i just was not feeling it so i'm back hopefully well not hopefully i am back um, I still been working behind the scenes. I just have not been putting in. Plus, I don't want to continue to just put out just any vlog. If you get what I'm saying, like I want it to. I don't want to put out like boring content. I feel like I'm <laughs> boring. Oh my god, there's so much traffic. <sighs> but yeah, anyway. Um, let me show y'all my scent of the day since I'm in all of this traffic. Um, my girl, uh, Drika, sent me this perfume. And it is the Prada Candy. That's the perfume that I have on today. It's a lovely scent. Um, I haven't worn it in a minute, actually. Um, so, yeah. I'm in a bunch of traffic. So, let me show y'all my purse, too. If you guys seen this on my last vlog, then you guys have saw this such a beautiful bag like what and it's like literally it's a designer bag for half the price for the other bags yes honey <laughs> i love it i wear it every day <clears throat> like i have not changed this bag i've been wearing it every single day but um anyway so um we are just headed to cumberland mall and uh that's all I got planned today. Um, I'm I'm just going to probably do my unboxing for some hair on the beginning of this video. And um, <sighs> All right. Well, I guess I will see you guys when I get to um okay so I am at Cumberland Mall about to leave um I don't know where I want to eat I either want to eat at Papado's it's a steakhouse connected to this and it's a Maggiano's I just don't know where I want to eat I just want something small um I know the Maggiano's is like an Italian type of place um the steakhouse I've been there um it was pretty good I liked their bread which i don't want to eat any bread but i really like their bread and their drinks and stuff and then um papados um 
I like their, even though I don't even think they have um, the what I want anymore. I think they took both of what I want off of the menu, which is the crab claws, saute, and the oysters, Rockefeller. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. So yeah, I am outside. I am over here because I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. Like I said, it's a Maggiano's and it's a steakhouse over here. I might go to the steakhouse since it's right here um, because Papa Do's don't have any of the things that I actually want. They have a PF Chains as well. Um, I left my piece while well, I can't find it to my camera to hold it up, which is frustrating. I think one of the babies had it. I put everything up, y'all. I'm like a person that likes to be organized and the kids will literally go in there and be like, okay, you thought. <laughs> So, yeah, anyway, like I said, um, I'm going to just go inside of here and see. I just really don't know. Oh, my goodness. This is so frustrating trying to find, figure out what to eat. Um, plus, I know it's probably going to be insane trying to find parking over here to eat. And um, Okay, I'm going to go to the steakhouse over here. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm at Stony River. Um, it's a steakhouse. And I just finally found parking. I've been going up and down because I was just going to go to Papa Do's, But I was like, hmm, I just want to go here. So I was like, I'm going to just go here. Um, so, yeah, I'm at Stony River. I will show you guys as soon as I um, go in or about to go in. Um so yeah i was gonna go to um a cigar lounge but i have on um my sandals so i don't want to go in uh, a cigar lounge or you know they're they're nice sandals but um i don't know if they um if i could even go in with my sandals on um let me see so yeah um i finally found parking i was going everywhere i was about to leave i was actually leaving from here and then the parking just went uh, i seen a couple of parking spots so i was like i'm gonna just go ahead and um go ahead and go in here sit at the bar since i'm by myself so yeah um oh monticello don't open up till six o'clock anyway so yeah let's go up in here let's spray some more perfume on i put lotion on my hands and yeah so let's go up in here It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? 
Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's Lying like a rat, but take your stuff back, baby. It's Father time, then I would change the honey. So I never saw your face. So I am back in the car. I had two drinks and I'm feeling them. <laughs> so I got um, more orders to go. Um, I got my mother something to eat and a couple of other things for like the kids and stuff. So I want to have a conversation. Okay. Because I just saw something and I feel like a lot of us can relate to it. So, um, I just want to have a conversation about it. <sighs> okay. So, <clears throat> while I was sitting at the bar, um, there was a lady there and a guy. And I sat first. Let me see which way should I go. Should I go this way? I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. So I was sitting at the bar. What okay, can I get out? <laughs> they trying to get this parking spot, but I gotta get out first, sweetie. <laughs> Whipped around that corner so fast. Oh, it's gonna be alright. I feel you though. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, I was sitting at the bar and um, I happened to see this couple. They they came to sit down. Now, the gentleman, he had on, um, and it has nothing to do with what he had on, but um, the lady, she looked like she was older than me. Um, and then the gentleman looked like he was much older than her. And 
you could tell his vibe was like rapper vibe stuff like that so um they're eating i don't want y'all to i don't know if i should even talk about this because i just don't want we all have been there i have been there before and it's actually quite embarrassing but um anyway i'm gonna just say it so um the young lady was sitting at the bar like i said she looked like she was much older than me um and then the fella was much older as well so he had on like a jersey he was like rapper type of vibes she was a pretty lady and um they sat at the bar so first of all um when the lady come the waitress she come what a bartender sorry she comes and she says she bring the menu the lady was like um I only need one menu so she give her the one menu and then she, the lady proceeds to order she orders one meal and two drinks so basically they sat there and they shared her food like they both sat there and was just sharing her she had like chicken tenders and fries or some something like that in that nature and it's not that I was like paying attention to them, but they're literally sitting directly next to me. They asked me if someone was sitting there and I said no. <laughs> so, um, his arm is like around her the whole time and he's just like, he's pulling up her chair. He's doing all of this, whatever. You could tell it was really fake. And I know that because I've been there, to be honest. So the bill comes. She pulls out her wallet to pay for her. He's kissing all on her. He's His arm is around her. And she's just like. <laughs> but you can tell in her face that she was unhappy. And I brought that up because I honestly have been there. And it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing for women to have to come out of their pocket. And I didn't really want to say this. Because I don't want people thinking what make you so special you don't got to come out of your pocket first of all i don't now i used to go through certain stuff I, i've been there before but it's like you are a grown man looking like you're in your like your 40s or 30s and it looks like this happened all the time because i told y'all you know how you could tell in her face it was like she was kind of embarrassed to be pulling out her card in front of everybody girl i'm like i'm looking at her like you could have just went out to eat by yourself but at the same time like i said we all have been there i have been there to be honest i have been there to where i've had to pull out my wallet to pay for a tab plenty of times and it was so embarrassing to me and i feel like it should be embarrassing to a man because how do you look or feel sitting at the bar eating first of all you're sharing a meal with your with your lady but y'all made sure y'all had enough y'all made sure y'all ordered them drinks but you're sharing a meal with your lady and i don't want to sound because like i said we all have been there we all go through stuff we all have been there well not we all because it's a lot of women that don't that hasn't but it just it's embarrassing because like i said i have been there before and that's embarrassing for don't go if you are a man and you cannot afford it don't go like you should feel some type of way if your woman is sitting here paying for the bills and paying for stuff, but you want her to treat you like you're a man. And the thing is, she's older. She's like in her 40s. They're in their 40s. And he's sitting here looking like an inspired rapper and got his arms all around her and kissing all on her because of she's paying for stuff for him. And it's just uncomfortable. And I felt bad for her. And I can tell that she didn't like that, but she loves him. You know, that ride or die type of situation. You could tell that she loves him so much. Y'all, my, my camera just keep going out. It is trying. It don't want me to be right. Maybe she has not reached her to where she's her limit. So anyway, let me get up in here this store and I will be right back. And you really just going to get up. <laughs> 
Good morning, you guys. So it's six. I mean, seven thirty. I've been up since like around five. Man, I've been up since around five. It's seven thirty right now. Junior literally just hopped up <laughs> because he felt me get up, and he literally just hopped up and ran in here. I didn't, why he's so asleep? All because I'm going to go use the restroom. Bless you, man. But, um, blush that man. So, yeah, I know you guys can't see me because it's pretty dark. Um, it is 7.31 a.m. Um, today is April 5th. So, um, I'm just about to, I have my notebooks right here, so I'm just about to plan my day um, and add any other things that I have to add to my planner for today or any other days um, and uh, then hop up today is Amelia's shower day so I'm going to give her a shower and then I'm going to my machines super early my brother is here so he's going to help me out so he's going to help me load up the car and help me go and also, I was going to check out this other location um, for a vending machine. Um, well, to put a vending machine. So, I was going to go ahead and handle that. My brother is going with me for that as well. But, um, so, I really want to, like, put on a little makeup and get myself together to go because... Even though I'm going to load up my machines, but to meet up with someone, I really want to make sure that I am put together. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm going to get this location or do, well, not necessarily get the location because he actually told me I could put it in there. But um, I don't know. Y'all see all of that. But anyway, like I said, it's 7.30. Um, I've been up since 5. I actually got up and was editing a vlog. Um all of the kids are in my room. Me, you got cover on her? AJ just got up and started stretching. I guess I'm too loud. Um, Junior is headed back to sleep because he woke up. All because of mommy got up. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm going to finish planning out, and I'm going to go ahead and read my book a little bit and then start loading up my car after I feed them and everything. So, yeah. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I just posted up a vlog um, for the first time in a whole week. Uh, I'm waiting on my brother. My brother is about to go load up my machines with me. Thank God. Um, I have not been feeling good. Uh oh. I have not been feeling good, and um, I have not been vlogging and stuff. So, <sighs> hey, you fit? I'm vlogging. My brother. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, I am at another location. Uh, you don't want me. Okay, so my brother. Um, this can be possibly another location. It's a tattoo shop on Cascade area. Um. Yeah, so this could possibly be another location. Um, they have like snacks and stuff. My brother um, works here. He's selling, he be selling them all the refrigerator. Yeah. A vending machine. A vending machine. Go ahead. Let me brighten. Y'all come get a tattoo from my brother. I'm through. I got you. <laughs> Okay, well, you just text me or something there. Okay, I'll text you. Alrighty. I'll let you know that. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. Love you. 
So, um, the shop is on Cascade area. Now, if I get the machines, um, my brother just, he, my brother just moved up, moved back up here. And basically, he's going to be working here because he do really good tattoos. I know I look crazy. But, um, he's going to be working here. He do really good tattoos. And, um, he was just like, I told him about that you have vending machines and stuff like that. Um, if you want to get some in here. I look insane. But, um, he was like, I told him about you if you want to, uh, get some vending machines put in here. You know, you can. So, if I honestly get some machines, it will definitely be, I will let him uh, do them. I wouldn't do anything. I would just let him do it. Because I live too far from here. But, um, yeah, I, I live too far from here. But, um, here's the tattoo shop. So, now I'm about to show you guys my old house. Because I used to live over in this area. And, um, why? My camera, my camera has been acting up. Honey, my camera been acting up. But anyway, so I used to live in this area, y'all. Let me turn the camera around because this is crazy. So when I first moved to Georgia, uh, I was living on Section 8, honey. And I'm about to show y'all the house that I was living in. And then my mother stayed. I moved to Georgia um, in 2010. AJ was born in 2009. I moved here in 2010. My mom moved here in 2012. When she moved down, she stayed with me for a couple of months. And then why did she move down the street from me, y'all? <laughs> so y'all about to see my mom's house that she was living in. Her house was not on Section 8. But um, y'all about to see the house that my mother was living in as well. So I have not been back to this house since I lived over in this area. And it makes me appreciate AJ used to go to that um, daycare. I think Chase did too. So, y'all, this was my mom's house right here. This was my mother's house. Oh my God, they switched it around. So, this was my mother's house. Why do I look like that? They definitely switched it around. It did not look like this. But, um, yeah, so this was her house, right? And then I'm going to show you guys my house. Um, I don't know why my camera looked like this. Okay. So, um, this was my house coming up. We literally stayed a couple of houses down from each other. And I stayed on the hill. Look, it's a, a truck out there. It's the house with the truck out there. So this is where I stayed at right here. Um, when I first moved here, I seen somebody come. <laughs> so I don't want to be recording. Um, so yeah, that's where I stayed at when I first moved down here. And to be honest, it just makes me appreciate where I'm at in life now. Because we have to start somewhere. And we have to start somewhere. I'm putting my address in. Okay. Someone's telling me to go this way. I want to stop at Dunkin' Donuts. Give me some uh, uh, avocado toast. But anyway, we have to start somewhere. Y'all, like, and... I'm just very grateful where I'm at now. Like, I went from, oh, they fixing up the house. I went from there and, you know, and where I'm at now. So, like I said, I'm just very grateful. Um, I had a lot of memories in that house, a lot, <laughs> a lot. And if you're from here, do you know, probably know 
where it's at it's off of cascade area um but yeah i'm very grateful and aj lived there and chase lived there as well so um i lived there i moved there in 2010 and then i was there for like three years or something then i moved into a nice a really nice apartment and then i had to move back there because um and i know y'all probably like how did you move back back there because i let my cousin rent it while i move because i was so it's shaking i let my cousin move there um because i was so afraid to um i was so afraid that what if i get kicked out of my place that i'm living in i can always go back because i was so afraid which i end up um lord <laughs> which i end up um it's like i can't think which i end up getting evicted from my apartment so i moved right back into my place and then after that i moved all the way out from this area um no i moved back over i don't know anyway i had to end up moving right back so um i stayed there for like a year but i don't even think i stayed there for a full year because in my mind i was just like after seeing better i wanted better for myself you know what i mean so i was like i gotta let this place go and honestly to be honest y'all section eight ended up finding out that i had someone else living there and they kicked me off of section eight fun fact i got kicked off of section eight <laughs> so um I think it was because they found out that someone else was living in my house. Um, yep, it was. And I, I, I tried to fight it, but I was like, I was already moved on. Um, and like I told you guys, in my mind, I was just like, I want better. So I didn't, I, <sighs> anyway. Anyway, so um, my brother and I went to go load up the machines and um, y'all, it was so quick because he was just, he was carrying everything. He was doing everything. I'm like, do you need help? Like I got it. I, and you know, I would just allow him to be a man. So I was just making sure the doors was open for him and he was doing the stuff quick. I didn't even have to say nothing to him. He literally just started taking the stuff out the box, putting it in there. I'm putting it, I'm loading up the drink machine. He loading up the snack machines and he just helping me. Um, so I got a lot of messages on the vending machines and stuff like that. I just wanted to at least do it for a month. I just wanted to at least do my machines for like a month for me to be able to give you guys advice and tell you guys if i like it or not so i'm actually coming out with another video i'm going to make it this week um on the vending machine business because i have been getting so many questions and um everybody was saying like thank you for these like people are selling um this type of stuff for hundreds and hundreds of dollars so i saw this guy he do the vending machines and he was having a sale y'all to basically teach y'all i felt so bad <laughs> he was having a sale to basically teach y'all and help y'all with everything that i did in my videos and y'all he was charging like 600 dollars, and i was like oh my god <laughs> i was like oh my god <sighs> sorry it's a bunch a bunch of um stuff in the street so but yeah he was selling the game which you know is smart and i'm just giving the game out and i'm just like well <laughs> but um so yeah when i saw the uh when i went on his page and i was just like oh my god and basically selling the game which i understand because to get that money but for me to sit here and be making a video <laughs> about all of that same information now of course he know a lot more than i know because he's been in the business all right he's been in the business 
but um I would just like so yeah um y'all just stay tuned for that video of me doing another video about the vending machines because I got y'all Okay, so my whole camera just fell. <laughs> um, my whole camera just fell. But um, I'm at Chick-fil-A, the one here on Cascade area. Um, oh, I wonder if I should just, should, no, because that's the opposite of my house. So I don't wanna go over there. I was gonna get like Jason Deli or something like that. Um, So, yeah, can I go through both? Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and drive through. Um, hi. Um, can I please have the chicken tenders? Chicken tenders or the meal? A meal. Three or four? Um, four. Alright, what's your drink? Um, a sweet tea and lemonade mix. Would I have to the order? And a small thing of macaroni. Small macaroni? Mm-hmm. And can I have buffalo sauce? Can I get me a fry sauce on your drink with a small mac? Buffalo sauce so it's kind of mess. Thirteen sixty six. So you think cash? Yeah. You gonna pull for it? Cash. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So um, don't even remember what I was saying, <laughs> but um, figure Ashley? that out. Yes. Have a wonderful Thank day. Thank you. You too. Today, so far, was a very productive day because y'all don't even understand. Yesterday was so hard for me to get up out of the bed. children so I guess I will see you guys so I got another order of wine um, I told you guys my guy friend he sends me over wine because um, he know that I like wine so that's one of my many gifts that he makes sure that he gives me every month so I want to open it up with you guys I don't know which wines. I guess he choose. I believe that he chooses which wines to give me. What the? Okay, so I guess these are like the wine cards. Um, yeah, so it tells you like which each wine is, the percent of alcohol, just everything on it. So that's that. And then um, we have four different wines. So let's just take them out. So um, this is a color fast. It's a Riesling. Um, and it has, it contains 10.5%. This is actually a white wine. Um, and then this one is 
A. Um, it doesn't say. I know it's a Tobago. Um, the Columbia Valley. I've never heard of this. Um, this one has a 13.7% alcohol in it. <clears throat> and then we have this. I believe this one, he sent me this one. Um, you guys didn't see the other box that I had received. Um, but, um, this one is 15.4% alcohol. This is a Cabernet. Right here. And then the last one is 14.2% alcohol. And it's a Cabernet as well. So, I want to try one of them. I have not had any wine or anything in a while. Um, yeah, you guys watched my vlog previously, but it was like recorded a while ago. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to try this one right here. I don't know why I chose this one, but I'm not really trying to like, you know, get messed up or anything. I just want a glass or two. So, yeah, this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and try. And I'm going to put the other ones up. So, when I pour it, I'll let you guys know how it tastes, if I like it or anything. So, yeah. So, here's the wine. Um, as, as you can see, I, you can see, I did not pour a lot at all because I'm just really just trying to really taste it. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and try it. We're already doing it. We've been trapping already. Let's go hard. Let's get this so I'll say, <laughs> come on. I'll say it's thin and it's not bitter, um, but it's not sweet. So it's in between and it's thin. So if you like thin wine, this will actually be a good choice. I don't think it's bad, but to me, I don't think any wine is bad. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I just woke up from a nap. Okay, so um, I'm sitting here. Uh, I was recording my self-care video uh, routine or, you know, whichever. It was basically about me getting myself together because I have not been in the mood. And I have not been feeling right or good, even about myself or anything. So, I'm sitting here eating a salad from Panera Bread and drinking some wine. This is the wine that I am drinking. Make sure you guys check that video out because I poured it. I talked a little bit. Um, this salad is so good. But yeah, I was sitting here watching a sheer ray. I don't know if you guys watch her, but I love her. She be speaking facts <laughs> on top of facts. So I love watching her videos. Sometimes I'll just go scroll and watch one that I have not watched yet. And I make sure that I make sure that I watch all of her um ads because honey Mama needs her coins, honey. She don't play no games. She's helping women. And I appreciate it. So I'll put her video, uh, well, her page link down below. Because Mama is definitely helping us this year. So, yeah. I just wanted to check in and say hi to you guys. I was so hungry. <clears throat> now I have to get to editing my um, self care vlog I'm going to edit while I'm sitting here eating 
I'm drinking my wine because um, it goes up. Wait, wow, I'm backwards. Today is Thursday the 7th, so that video goes up Wednesday. This one right now goes up um, Saturday. I'm all messed up. I'm trying to get myself together, honey. I might have to switch it around and do a vlog Wednesday. Oh no! <clears throat> but I might have to switch it around. I didn't even realize. I'm thinking today is Tuesday. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna figure it out. That's exactly why I um <clears throat> that's exactly why I made my self care video because I have to get myself together. I'm losing my 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 marbles, honey. <sighs> I have not been working. Well, I've been working behind the scenes, but not like. I've been working behind the scenes a lot. But honestly, I've been laying around a whole lot. I guess while I sit here and drink my wine, I'm going to watch, listen to Shiree and um, close this vlog out probably. And get to working on a new vlog because we are working. I might as well do my unboxing. <laughs> 